So you want to be a gunslinger. You want to throw big baits for big bass. That's what we're going to talk about today. It's not about the rod. It's not about the reel. It's not about the bait. It's not where you start. Start off by asking yourself, can I fish for eight hours and not get a bite and be okay with it? You're gonna have those days. And some people can't deal with that. Even I have a hard time dealing with it sometimes. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. Rod and reel, bait, they all play a factor. But to fish these kind of baits, a lot of times, you have to get your mind right. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> bye bye, Sneaky Pete. You got to get used to that, too. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, no. No! I refuse. No! No! 30 bucks. It is what it is. You've got to be prepared. Every time you tie one on, that's potentially going to be the last time you use that bait. It's part of the game. You have a hard time dealing with that. We all have a hard time dealing with it, but if if that's a deal breaker for you, then, so what happened? My leader knot did not fail. I had a kink in, I had a kink or something. Is what it is. I really like that glad bait too, so. I have to save up some cash and get a new one. That's the reality of fishing big baits. You, you're, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some, uh, you're going to fish all day, you're going to not get any bites, you're gonna get 25 bites. Um, it's the luck of the draw. A big risk, big reward. Um, right now, uh, the risk portion of things won. So it is what it is. Um, I'm bummed. But if you're, if you're not willing to lose it, you're not gonna be successful fishing it. You've gotta, you've gotta fish it like you already lost it. We are back at it, same day. Different spot. Right now, we're throwing around the babe swim bait.
sure does look good. I've already committed that I'm going to lose this bait. Last cast. Sweet. That cast is worthy of a fish. There should totally be a fish there. <laughs> Not a great green grass. That's good. But that's it for today. Come on now. What's going on, fish? It's springtime. I know you big girls are moving up. And yeah, man, not cool. Look at that thing. That thing looks like a bass Big Mac. You mean to tell me that that didn't come across the face of a three pound bass just now? How do you not eat that thing? Y'all didn't get the memo? I'm gonna have to type up that memo. Man. Wow, talk about a frustrating day. Uh, and swim bait fishing can be a lot like that. Uh, you can go out all day long, no bites. And then on top of that, you're losing baits. Woo, Charlie, talk about some stress. Uh, but that's the reason I wanted to make this video because that's the reality of things, right? We all have social media and Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We're all watching, you know, all these, you know, huge bass come up on swim baits. And we're all like, dude, that is so dope. I want to do that. Um, I, I want to get into that game. I want to get big baits. I want to catch big bass. Everybody does. Um, but you guys are seeing a highlight reel, right? That, that's what shows up on ESPN. You, what you've really got to understand is the hours and the days and the weeks that go into swim bait fishing with no bites or losing baits. Um, and that's why I wanted to make this video so you guys can kind of get a real life shot at what it's like to throw big baits for big bass. Um, I learned, I, I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Uh, and the very first thing that I took away from that day on the water was no more braid, <laughs> no more braid to, to, to leader. Not until I get better, right? I've been doing this for two years and I've still got a ton to learn. So it's fluoro all the way <laughs> from here on out until I can get, you know, Matt Allen, Tim Little, Tactical Bassin, you guys are throwing big baits, braid to mono, God bless you. <laughs> keep up, keep, keep it up. Um, but guys, do me a favor. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, drop it down below. Uh, I'm no expert by any means. I'm making this video because I'm still new. I'm still learning. Uh, and I want to share the reality of swim bait fishing with you. There's a lot of people out there that are getting into the sport. There's a lot of people out there that are thinking about, you know, getting into swim baits and, you know, I want the rod, the reel, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's all important, and we're going to talk about that in future videos. The rod, the reel, the line, the bait, when to throw what, do I throw glide baits all the time. That's later. First and foremost, get your mind right. Get your mind right for no bites, and get your mind right for losing expensive baits. 
That Sneaky Pete's a $40 glide bait, maybe $45 glide bait. I got it on sale, so I only paid 30 something bucks for it. Um, and that sucked to lose. Could you imagine if that was $150 depths 250? I don't know how I would feel about that, but you've got to prepare yourself for that if you want to throw big baits. Because number one, if you're if you don't fish it the right way, if you don't throw it where you need to throw it because you're scared you're going to lose it, you've already lost. Think about that. Thanks a lot for watching White Whale Fishing. If you have questions or comments, drop it down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. Hopefully, I'll get some time on the water soon. New baby's coming any day. Send some baby vibes my way so a uh, little one can hurry up and get here so we can get back to normal and so I can start getting out on the water. I appreciate you. I hope you're fishing. I hope you're catching. Talk to y'all soon. Tight lines. Mm -hmm.